Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the full moon in Scorpio reading, also the daily vibe. So we're just going to see what comes up. So this is for right around the 27th. What do we have for a message for around the 27th? What do we have for a message for around the 27th? Ten of Cups reversed. High Priestess. Knight of Swords reversed. Empress reversed. Four of Wands. Eight of Coins. Seven of Cups. Hermit. So we have action being taken. So there's, there is some sort of action, swift action that is going to be taken um, in regards to a relationship. And whatever this relationship is, it could be a family situation. It could be, um, uh, you know, uh, husband, wife. We have a relationship that is not on the same page. First card out, Ten of Cups reversed. That is, a, that is relationship problems. We have relationship problems that are coming to a head. Somebody has been keeping a secret. Okay, they have been keeping a secret. I do believe there's going to be some sort of uh, assertive behavior. Somebody is going to assert themselves. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is abuse of some sort. This is an untrustworthy individual that could be charging in, causing a fight, blaming somebody, picking a fight. Um, the High Priestess is very very intuitive but keep something to themselves somebody is, has been keeping something to themselves um, maybe it's a, a it's, it's, it's a it could be a, somebody else that they're dealing with because we have this commitment down here and it is in the past it is in the past so somebody may be committed they may be already in a commitment but they're in a relationship so I don't know what is going on here if somebody is well, the Empress reversed is some sort of termination. It could be uh, I wonder you know the Empress in reversed is somebody that doesn't know her value and gets herself engaged in third party situations. I feel like we have an individual that has engaged themselves with an individual that is already in a commitment. This is this is somebody that is very very spiritual, that is self-sufficient, that keeps to themselves. It feels like there's somebody is calling in a soulmate as well. Because this is a divine connection and this is a soulmate situation. Somebody is calling in a soulmate. I don't know who's, who's that is for. But in the past, there's a relationship that is not working out. The Ten of Cups in reverse is a relationship that, that's relationship problems. It's a dying dream. There could also be children that are leaving. Because with this card and this card. So I wonder if there's some sort of bad news that is coming and I hate to say this about a child okay um leaving home somebody or it could be a relationship could be a partner that is leaving home somebody may be choosing to be single the high priestess chooses to be single typically is typically a single person who is very self-sufficient and chooses to be single work on themselves so we may have somebody here that is choosing to work on themselves to go within to reflect and and uh, listen listen to themselves um, I do believe there is some sort of relationship problems and I and I feel like um, a choice is about to be made with this seven of cups I feel like this is is uh, somebody is going through an awakening they're becoming enlightened they're gonna be choosing to be alone somebody is gonna choose to be alone we have alone here and alone here I th oh, hmm. seven of cups is 
confusion, trying to do too much, multiple options. Somebody has been exploring their options with a woman, and this is a completely different thing. Somebody has been exploring their options with a woman that doesn't know her value, and this woman has engaged. She has allowed herself to be one of the options. This Knight of Swords is, is a, it could be a dangerous situation, I mean, the Knight of Swords. I feel like there's going to be a conversation, and I don't think it's going to be a good one, okay? I feel like we have, we have an insincere uh, individual who is um, very, very ignorant. This is somebody that is a know-it-all. This is an individual that may uh, feed illusion, that may present themselves to be somebody that they are not. I feel like I feel like we have a very spiritual individual here who has been trying to call in their soulmate. But they're getting themselves engaged with somebody that is not emotionally available. This, I feel like this person is already in a relationship. They're already in a commitment. I feel like there's a there's. I feel like there is some sort of. I don't know. Hopefully it's not the loss of a child. But with the Empress Reverse, it, it could be a, a loss of a child. It could be a termination. It, it, whatever it is. I do believe that there is... Um, somebody's about to get a wake-up call of some sort. They're about to get some sort of awakening with that Hermit card. They're going to need to go within to reevaluate their lives. There is some sort of consequences for the choices that they make. This is consequences... I feel like we have a relationship that is not working out because there's another person. I feel like this full moon is bringing clarity. It's bringing enlightenment. We have an individual here that is out of control and insincere and has led somebody down the wrong road. They have led somebody to believe something that isn't the truth. They've led somebody into fantasy, into an illusion. And whoever it is that they're dealing with may have received a message, I don't know, from, you know, I hate to say it, a tarot reader or a medium or a psychic or somebody that, you know, does that for a job that says, this is your soulmate, this is your twin flame. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. This is your twin flame. It's not true. It's a lie. It's an illusion. It's fantasy. We have a person here that doesn't know their worth. And it's time to reevaluate your relationship. Good luck.